Dr. Martinez, I'll have one more uh, uh, question about uh, dentures. Lately, actually for the last few years, but lately again quite a bit in ABC World News, I think, um, there, was, there was a whole lot of stuff in it, how denture adhesives, um, uh, denture cream, whatever you call that stuff, are laden with zinc, and while zinc is a good thing, we need it, um, too much of it cannot be good. And apparently nerve damage is tingling in the feet, legs, arms, fingers, um, muscle weakness, um, numbness and stuff like that. And uh, literally brain damage, uh, people in a wheelchair have occurred, apparently. Um, um, what do you know about it? And if it is so, would a denture, which we described, which you described very well in another video, which is uh, supported by a couple, two, three, four implants, and thus fits better and is just phenomenal, a world of difference compared to a normal denture, would such a denture also eliminate the need for this, perhaps, not sure, uh, devastating cream? Most definitely. That is probably one of the biggest advantages is that you don't have to wear any adhesive when you have an implant retained denture because it clips onto your implants. So you don't have to wear the little cloth, you don't have to wear any powder, and you don't have to wear the cream. Frankly, frankly, having never done that, and and um, and once or twice, I got a I got a, a, an impression made. Um, I, I, you know, I don't know whether that's the same, but frankly, you know, I'm not a cream type. I, 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 it must be it must be being a very very beautiful relief not to have to, you know, put some some cream things on it. In fact, even in teeth whitening, the people at home or doing the dental teeth whitening kit. Uh, Many people just say, you mean I can avoid this cream and tray? Oh, why don't I just go for a one hour, pay a little more, A, been done in one hour, but most importantly, I don't like that yucky thing on my thing. I mean, it must be a good feeling it, from my viewpoint, but having never done it, how would I know? What do, what do your patients say? Exactly. No, that is probably one of the biggest things when they come in, when people come in and say, you know, I can't, I can't eat, I can't chew my food, I'm getting these sores, and I'm tired of having to buy this adhesive and having, because I can't taste my food, I can't. So, yes, that's probably one of the biggest advantages of having an implant retained denture that you don't have to wear the, um, the creams or the, cre or the uh, little cloth or the powders. Um, because, you know, I haven't, I've never done it, I've never worn that myself. But I have seen many patients, and it, it is really a big relief for them. I think um, okay. what happens is once they, they don't have to wear it, they're like, are you sure? It, you know, they see they're not going to fall off when I'm eating or anything. Um, but again, it has to be an implant-retained denture sure. in order for you to be able to clip onto this. And as far as for the damage, I know that they recall the, the cream that supposedly, allegedly was causing the issue. But again, you know, do you really truly know what, you know, what causes uh, anything? I mean, it, pretty much every day something comes out that says that it's causing something. So um, I personally don't know of any case or anything whatsoever in that regard. I know the story. I've, know, I've heard the news. I've, you know, read it um, from my supplier, actually. But um, it, it is really something you have to... Have to see and read the study. Where was it done? Was is it a legit, legitimate study or is it just right. somebody trying? But here's the deal. Here's the deal, Doctor. Here's the deal, Doctor Martinez. Um, certain things you don't, you know, you don't quarrel about. Um, just like it was never really proven that this um, person in Florida some 15 years ago got AIDS from the dentist. The point is, it stirred something up majorly. I think you were already in dentistry back then. And, um, and, 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 and here's only one question. It's like, was it proven? No. Did everybody start sterilizing about a truckload better than before? Yes. Can that possibly hurt? No. So let's do it. Um, and um, again, you know, you said that not having this adhesive is phenomenally better. So why don't you switch? Um, and would you suggest that if a person, which doesn't have to come from that uh, uh, cream at all, has, um, you know, tingling and numb fingers and, uh, and, and feels a certain weakness in, in his overall muscle structure, uh, should he go to a doctor, to a physician, to a nerve doctor and check it out and at least make sure that uh, 
whatever causes it, which even the doctor might never find out, but at least that he takes treatment for it because it is a serious thing. It wouldn't matter what caused it. Of course. No, no, no. They, they have to do that. But I, you know, my philosophy on that or like the way I would treat if there was my parent or that, need, that has a denture is eliminate all the possible causes that are, you know, they talked about the cream. Well, eliminate that. But, you know, getting a denture that fits, getting a denture that it is retained. Once that's eliminated and out of your system for a while, then if you continue with the symptoms, then follow up with it. But it might, maybe it's, it, that would take care of it. But again, until you go through it, until you do it, you, you will never really know. Mm. So, possible, possible, only very possible uh, benefit for health effect, but for surely a better lifestyle if you oh, take that adhesive stuff thank out you. and go for what's new. Thank you very much, Dr. Martinez. Thank you.